everyone, Chef Shaber here. Welcome to Walk Wednesday. Tonight we're going to be doing a um, vegetable stir fry. Real easy and it's going to be delicious, so stick around. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to be using tonight. We've got some baby bella mushrooms and we've got some of these sugar snap peas and we got some broccoli we got yellow uh, bell pepper red bell pepper we got some carrots here and we wanted to get some uh, baby corn the whole store didn't have any baby corn. Not one can, not one jar, nothing frozen. So I'm gonna substitute it with green onion. Any, or this is regular onion, not green onion. Um, just this half of a large onion here. Um, and this is a this is a small head here of uh, broccoli, just the, the tips of them. Now, um, like I said, we're we're just using regular regular onion here, just a white onion. We've got over here for a little bit of spice. This, you know, again, guys, put whatever you want in this. You know, whatever vegetables doesn't really matter. And we're gonna be making something to pour over this. But this is um, uh, what is this? This pepper habanero. habanero. There's two. You know they're small, but there's two of them diced up in here. Habanero peppers. This is um, well. There's more than one clove. It's one bulb, okay? One small bulb of garlic because I'm gonna make a garlic sauce and put over this. But first, what we got to do is we're gonna start cooking the um, the carrots. That's just one carrot there. Put as many or as little as you want. So I'm gonna start with the carrots first. We're gonna start cooking them and then I'll put the onions in and then after they start caramelizing a little bit, then we'll put the rest in. Um, Cause you know, it always takes longer for the carrots to to uh, to cook. So we're gonna get them over here. We're gonna get this, my wok heated up about medium, okay? If you if you got a flame, that's, that's perfect because you know it's gonna stay that way all the time. To where if you got electric stove top like we got, you know, it kicks on, gets red, brings the temperature up, and then drops it down as soon as it kicks off. It doesn't really, you know, it's not as even. So, but, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm gonna get this heated up, and then we'll get, we'll get our carrots in there. And then once we put all of our other ingredients in here, or our other um, vegetables in, um, we'll go ahead and start on our sauce. So, and that's gonna be easy. Now this is just a vegetable stir fry, but uh, I've been telling Monkey I need to make her some shrimp stir fry. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make her some shrimp. I'm going to make some beef tips put on mine and make her some shrimp to put on hers. Now you don't have to do that. You can just stick with vegetables if you want. Um, also we got, we got some noodles. We're going to stir fry some of these up. We're going to put our, our stuff over top of the noodles. So. Should be good. So, all right. Now, while this is heating up, I'm gonna get you set up so you can see the walk a little better. So we're gonna start off with our carrots. Like I said, I'm gonna cook them a minute or two first because they, they always take a little longer to cook. So that way the other the other vegetables doesn't get all, all soggy and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and give those a minute. Then I'll put the onions in. Or a lot of people like to put the onions in first and then move them to the side and cook. Cook the uh, carrots in, but it doesn't matter however you want to do it. I just put about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil in there. So I'm going to let these cook for a minute. I'll bring you back and we'll put the onions in. Now, I'm just going to move these up here to the side and I'm going to put our onion in. Like I said, I'm on about a medium uh, on my electric. It's about a six, um, but if you're on a flame, you might want to go medium high. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of this stuff here. It's uh, chicken bouillon. You can use the cubes if you want. If you're going to use a cube, uh, about one of these or one of those little square ones would be fine. Or, you know, it's up to your, up to your taste. That's a teaspoon because the sauce is going to have going to be made with um, with chicken broth. So we're going to give this a stir. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some soy sauce, about a tablespoon. Now that's cooking up nicely. Now as soon as um, as soon as these start getting, uh, these onions start getting just a little bit uh, caramelized, then we'll put our other ingredients in. So, uh, stick around, and we'll put some more stuff in here in just a minute. Okay guys, as you can see it, it got kind of softened up now, because they're going to keep cooking, so what we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our stuff. There's our, our uh, pepper. Or hot pepper. Now we're going to add our other ingredients in here, or um, red and yellow bell peppers. Like I said, there's one of each. That's just a small head of broccoli there. You don't have to add broccoli. You can use um, the cauliflower too if you'd like. Now we're going to give this a little mix. And that soy sauce does cook out, but a little bit, but it mostly adds in, Jesus, God. I looked up monkey stand over there. She snuck up on me. So, what was I saying? It, but, it, but it will soak up the flavor of this. I'm going to add about another tablespoon there. Now we're going to, now we're, well, past couple days. Now we're going to add our sugar snap peas. Monkey loves these things, I was informed today. Mm-hmm. Now this is a big thing of mushrooms. You don't need all this, but they do, remember, they will cook down and shrivel up a little bit. So I'm just going to add the whole thing because we love mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And once these get all cooked up, we will be, we'll take them out and I'm going to do her, I'm going to do my beef tips first and then I'll do her shrimp. I don't care for shrimp. I can eat it, but I don't care much for it. I can take it or leave it, I guess you could say. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go let this start getting warmed back up. I got the water over here ready to, getting ready to boil for our noodles. So, which I'll do the noodles before I do my beef tips. But anyway, let's get on to making our sauce while this is cooking. Now, I got my recipe here. Uh, what we're going to use for our sauce. Also, you can use water chestnuts in here. But what you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I got a three quarter, what is this? A quarter cup of soy sauce. That's a little over, like I said, normally if I'm just cooking, I just guesstimate it. Um, but to give you an idea, now this says, I've got on my recipe here three cloves of garlic, but those are big cloves. I had a small bulb, which would equal to about three big cloves. So we're going to put those, the garlic in there. Now, you want it minced. You can buy, you can buy the, buy it already minced up if you want. I've got some here, but I went ahead and made my own since I, I like fresh, but this is good to have on hand, you know, if you run out or whatever. So you can use that and you can also use for your onion, you can also use these. Those are good. Uh, I might as well put some of them in there. Just give it a little more. Okay, so now, okay, now it calls for about a half a cup of chicken broth. So I'm going to put a half a cup of chicken broth in there. And I'm going to add about a half. About a half a teaspoon of that in there. Remember guys, to your liking, to your taste. Um, you don't have to add the brown sugar, but the brown sugar takes, um, and what do I got here? 
uh, three tablespoons. There's a tablespoon. You you can you know I don't do a lot. It's about one and a half. So I'm gonna go with about two. I'm gonna whisk whisk this up. But now I need one tablespoon of cornstarch, which I've got up here. This will thicken it up. It's almost like a, a roux, so I, I use a heaping. Again, this is just an idea to get you, to get you started. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, let me get, that sounded funny. I'm going to whisk this up, and then I'm going to stir our vegetables. This stuff here is what makes you can use flour too instead of this if you want. Usually I will sift it, but I forgot to get my sifter out. So if you see a little, um, some little white, little tiny chunks in there, it's okay. They'll go away. Just keep whisking it. Um, so now let me get this stirred up, and then we'll I'll I'll put you bring you back over, and we'll pour this on top of here in just a few minutes. Now. So there's still a little bit of broth down here at the bottom too, a little bit of that gravy. Um, if you want to thicken it up, add some more of your uh, cornstarch or flour. So, when I now see all the all the cornstarch has dissolved, those white things there, that is the garlic. So we're just going to add this in here, just like that. Now we're going to give it a quick stir, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to let it reduce to about half, maybe a little more, or some people call it letting it thicken up. Pretty much the same thing, kind of. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. And then we're going to cook our noodles and our beef tips and shrimp, but if you just want this, this is pretty much done now. All you got to do is let it thicken up. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's your, look at the colors in that. You see the reds, the yellows, the greens. Uh, look at that. It's awesome. I wish we could have got the baby corn, but they didn't have any. The whole damn store didn't have any. Okay. Let's let that thicken up. Okay, so as you can see how thick it got, that gravy. And that's what it turns into, a gravy. And that's about what I want. It will thicken up as it sets too. I always like stuff to rest a few minutes. So I got a big bowl over here I'm going to put this into and then we'll put our noodles in. Okay guys, I didn't wash that out. That's going to give it flavor. It's fine. I'm just going to add a little bit of this, about a tablespoon. Okay, and then I'm going to add about, oh, teaspoon of that the uh, chicken bouillon now we're just going to put this in here and you only stir fry this for about three minutes so just get all that stuff in there out of there if you want now's the time you can add a little bit of water maybe a quarter cup eighth of a cup or whatever put that in there Cook this about three minutes. What what I done? Well, no, not three minutes. You can go about 30 seconds, which has already been longer than that. It's 30 seconds on this. What what I meant to say was once once you bring these to a boil, boil them for three minutes, and go ahead and strain them and run them under cold water for a couple minutes because you want them to get to stop the cooking process. So there's that. So these are about done. Now I'm going to get my beef tips and throw in here as soon as I put these in a in a pot. So hang tight, guys. Okay. So what I done was I just added about a quarter cup of water and about two tablespoons of that just to get the stuff off the bottom. Now we're going to throw our meat in. What I done with my meat was I mixed up uh, about a tablespoon of your flour or your cornstarch and I'm just gonna brown this up real nice let it cook for a couple minutes and then I'll put uh, then I'll put the shrimp in 
then we'll be ready to plate it up. See, it's already starting to brown up nice. I'm on about a medium high heat now because I got the meat in there. So, it's that gravy it's forming. Awesome. Okay, I'll be right back with you. Okay, now all I did was put about a quarter cup of uh, chicken broth in there, which you can use when I used the water a little bit ago. You can use chicken broth. So, we're going to go ahead and put her shrimp in there. This is just just frozen shrimp. We're going to cook. I'm going to turn the heat up kind of high on this. I'm on about an eight or a nine over here, so we're just going to cook these up until they turn red. Then we're going to plate this stuff up. So I'll kick you back on. Sorry about the fan. Forgot to turn it off. It's right above the mic. So anyway, oh by the way, the uh, beef. It wasn't beef tip. I actually got beef stir fry, which is just like shredded, kind of, kind of strip, like that. So fantastic. I did add a little bit of um, black pepper in there too. So okay, guys, this is. We've got to plate it up. Like I said, if you're just doing the vegetables, you don't you don't have to add the meat, the shrimp, or the noodles. It's just we like a lot of stuff. <laughs> but Monkey already had one of the snow peas and said it was delicious. But this is what they look like, and there's her her shrimp there. Like I said, it was just frozen frozen shrimp, so it's pre-cooked. I just like to make sure something like that is done well. So I'm gonna get you put up here and we'll let monkey give this a try all right go ahead monk mm -hmm. trying to get a little bit of everything in there um we we get to have some uh mushroom this is the first time we we had that we got to have mushroom in the stir fry because her mom can't have it she's definitely ill or allergic to mushrooms right so like when we have mushrooms I have to cook them in a different pan and use a different spoon to stir it and stuff like that so I have to be real careful so when it comes to stir fry I'm not taking that chance I don't want to make her mom sick so all right dink donk dinky donkey mm. Mm hmm <laughs> mm. can't take her anywhere very good. Mm. What do you think? Very good. Oh yeah. What's your favorite so far? Mm. That's really hard. <laughs> They've all been good. I'm mm. sure I'm going to make something where we're all going to go, what the hell is that? You know, because <laughs> it happens, you know, it's mm. going to happen. Everything can't be perfect. Mm. Like I cooked her sausages on the grill one time and I ended up with plating up charcoal. So what did we do? Order a pizza or something, didn't we? Yeah. Because <laughs> it was like all pizza we had, night. you know. That's all I said. Yeah. Pizza night. And it happens. I was on the gas grill and I uh, wasn't used to her grill and it was really hot. Yeah. And even when you had them clear on low, it was, it took me a year to get used to that grill. But uh, yeah, I came in for a minute to get something, went out, smoke rolling, raised the lid, flames. So, I would say she said pizza night. This one might be the best. You think so? And then the other one that we really liked was the second best. Okay. Yeah. So sorry I missed uh, the past two Wednesdays, guys. But uh, I, my back was hurting real bad, and for for two weeks straight, I could hardly move. No. That's why I did a lot of videos sitting down here because <laughs> I was like, man, I can't. Yeah, he so, seems to be feeling better, but he yeah. still can't lift a lot. No, but so anyway, so I thought I'd do this. Um, her mom's better. Yes. They're, she's out of ICU. She's in the regular room, but either tonight or tomorrow, they're going to go ahead and move her over to the rest home. No, we're not putting her in a rest home, guys. No. That's just where they're going to do the uh, rehab, they call it. You know, do her physical therapy and stuff. Get her legs working good. Yeah. And then she'll come back home. Because we'll, we'll never put her... If we don't have to, we're not ever going to do that. No. So, 
But so yeah, so after that, she'll probably be in there what a week or two maybe, I depending figure. on how well she does. Yeah. And to in the rehab, and then she'll get to come home. So she's she's pretty excited. So yeah, she's very happy. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll be in the same place she was before, over by the hospital. So she's not really going anywhere. No, but you know, she's just kind of like across the street, really. Yeah. So um, yeah, well, no, she was there with mm -hmm. your dad. Yeah, at, at she the was, rehab place. Right. So she's been there. Before. She, yeah, she liked it, and so anyway, that's an update on her. Yep. And. Well, that being said, monkey, you have anything you want to add? No, I just want to eat. Very, very good. It's going to take me an hour to edit this because i got so, so many shots i got to take out. Every time I turn the camera on, something making something going off, a phone ringing, a phone dinging, and ding a ding ding and Bruno growling on my ears. Hello, everyone, Chef. Hello, everyone. Chef Shaber. God damn it. Hey everyone, Chef Shea Bear here. Welcome to walk. Motion detected at the front door. Yes, I know this stuff just you start growling. I told her, because I always ground. carry a camera. Huh? Always. I said, if we ever break down, first thing I'm going to do is turn the camera on. We'll have all kinds of people going past to give us help. <laughs> yeah. Shea Bear, I'm the man legend. Gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, disclaimer, I'm not a real chef. I just like to cook and have fun. And you're having fun. Yep. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care. Mike's just out for now. Bye.